There are hundreds of bar valves on the market and what we're going to do this time is look at the way that the cartridges are installed because normally the, it's either the flow cartridge or the temperature cartridge that uh, causes the problem. There are three main ways that the cartridges are fitted and what we're going to do is have a look at the way the cartridges are actually installed in general in these valves. Mostly to replace the cartridges in these valves you'll need a Phillips screwdriver, flat screwdriver, a pair of pliers or a shifting spanner and on some occasions an allen key. The, uh, the, the problem with these valves is if it, if it drips or doesn't shut off properly is you need to replace the flow cartridge. Any of the temperature problems you need to replace the temperature cartridge. However, before replacing the temperature cartridge, check the filters and make, they're generally fitted in here um, and make sure that they're clear. If they're not clear then it's a temperature cartridge. The, issue with these valves is removing the removing the cartridge and there are three main methods of getting the cartridge out first one is the, the, the most this most simple and most obvious the cartridge itself just screws into place and so the cartridge just unscrews and then once you've replaced the cartridge you really just pop another cartridge back in and that's it The second most common method is the cartridge is held in with a grub screw. This can be an allen key or just a flat screwdriver you need to get this out. You can usually recognise it by the fact that there's no flats on the end of the cartridge itself. The cartridge, as I say, just pushes into place. When you remove the grub screw, make sure that you've got something in the plug hole that you don't lose it. And when the grub screw comes out, the cartridge should just pull out like so. And you'll find that the cartridge itself has a hole in it so that they for to line up with the grub screw when you put the new cartridge in you just have to make sure that these two holes line up before you refit the grub screw and the third method is where the, the cartridge is held in with a, a large nut um, this is the grub screws come out with the with the lever here, but the handle comes off like so. And what you'll see is this is the main part of the cartridge, and there's a nut in here. Now to get the cartridge out, you have to remove the nut. And so you'll look at if you look at this, there's no flats on the cartridge, and you'll find that there's no grub screw anywhere. And that's the way that you can identify this: that there's a nut in the end. So undo the nut, and the cartridge will normally just pull out. And so to finalise. As I said, there are hundreds of different valves in the market and this is the three main methods, the screw-in method, the grub screw method and the, the, uh, the, the large nut that captures the cartridge. You can't cover everything with all of these. Um, this should give you a, a fair guide to most of the valves that are there. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, just subscribe to our YouTube channel.